This is Jack of Fitness Show. I'm here with Coach Ernesto, man. You already know Swift Nation. He got a couple of his boys in action on uh, Saturday at the Barclays. My guy Juice. Uh, you want to talk about Juice real quick? What you been uh, working on in camp? Uh, Tyreek, man, he's ready. Uh, There's been a seven fight coming up. Uh, Tyreek Irby is uh, ready to put in some work on uh, Saturday night. Uh, been training hard, uh, working on his style and technique. Punching power, so we're looking to see him uh, put all those things together come Saturday night. Definitely, definitely. Let's let's just touch on Hillcrest, man. The gym over there, man. You guys are uh, pumping them out right now. You know uh, what's in the water down there that you guys are, uh, you know, producing these fine boxes coming up here, man. Well, right now we just, you know, just sticking to the basics, just uh, hard work, uh, dedication. Uh, you know, my my thing is, you know, mind your business, stay in your own lane, and just do what you got to do. Um, just keep working hard, man, and just work on the basics. Uh, boxing is all about perfecting the basics, the basics, and anything out there that is just a little bit extra. So we try to get our guys conditioned and, and just work on, on the basics, uh, counter punching, uh, defense, all, you know, all, all of the basics. Try to just mainly focus on that. Definitely, definitely. Um, let's touch on Swift Herd, man. You know, um, you know, it was you know Charlo fight. You know, unfortunately. Tony Harrison uh, messed that up, but um, you know that's boxing, man. Um, we 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 we're thinking about uh, uh, Swift is getting back in action against Julian Williams. Uh, your thoughts on Julian Williams in that fight? Well, I think Julian Williams is uh, definitely an awesome fighter, a very respectful, a respectful opponent, okay. uh, crafty, uh, durable. He has the heart of a. Of a a lion, you know, he comes to fight each and every time. So we know that it's definitely going to be a tough fight. Okay. Uh, we expect a tough fight. Uh, we're going to be ready for a tough fight. Uh, as everybody knows we're a second half fighter. Uh, yeah. we, we come in the half stronger than ever. So, yeah. uh, I'm deep sure waters, that, yeah. You like getting them in deep yeah, waters. So I'm sure that his camp know to uh, prepare for that. Um, and, um, you know, we're looking for a good fight. Uh, overall, I have a great deal of respect for him and his team. And, uh, but when it's all said and done, uh, I'm teaching uh, and training my fighter to stop him in the late round. So yeah. That's what we would like to do. So that's what we're going to go out there and, and present ourselves. Uh, you know, we, we don't go looking for the knockout, but, you know, that's what we, we're preparing for uh, a late round stop. Yeah, I, and I just want to commend you and congratulate you because um, if, if you guys been following Sir sort of Herb's career, man, like his last two performances, you know, especially that that stoppage with the body shot on boy on the the Wilder undercard and the fight before that with Laurel, man, that was Laurel's fighting. He's headlining Saturday night. Oh, yeah. That dude is a skillful fighter. Oh yeah. And uh, Jared sat him down in the twelfth round. That's very impressive. So um, I just want to commend you off. You know, a lot of, you know, you, you didn't get a lot of you know hype for Coach of the Year, but this man, yeah. this man's doing this thing, man. You know, he got. One of the unified uh, super middle, uh, yeah, uh, junior junior middleweights, you know what I'm saying, of the world, and um, he's producing a lot of good fighters out of that Hellcrest gym, man. So we just want to take our hats off to you and just, you know, give you that acknowledgement over here at Jackal Fitness that we we see what you're doing and we acknowledge that, man. And um, before I let you go, man, um, you know, you're a great coach. We we interviewed your assistant, Billy Roberts. Mm -hmm. Uh, your thoughts on the up and coming May 4th fight with Danny Jacobs and Canelo Alvarez? Because we, we see that as a division that, you know, Swift Herd to be pretty much jumping into That's in the upcoming right. years. So, what are your thoughts on that fight? Uh, first of all, I want to give the glory to God for, uh, for the comments you gave me. I mean, yeah. uh, God is using me to be able to work with these young guys and uh, be able to bring the best out of them. So, I want to give all the glory to God for using me. I will try not to take no credit from that, give him all the glory for that. Yeah. Uh, in addition to that, um, Danny Jacobs and uh, Canelo Alvarez is definitely a tough fight. Uh, it's a toss-up, okay. but I'm leaning towards Canelo Alvarez. Canelo okay. Alvarez, um, in my opinion, shows a little bit more grit. Uh, okay. You know, he's a little bit more versatile, uh, and I think he has the punching power to, uh, to be able to uh, hurt uh, Danny Jacobs. But this is boxing, you know. Danny Jacobs is definitely a solid fighter. He has yeah. all the tools and all the accolades, accolades to be able to uh, to defeat Canelo Alvarez, uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does defeat him. Yeah, you know, yeah. But uh, um, you know, I would like to see uh, uh, um, 
Danny Jacobs win, win the fight. Wow, yeah, uh, but for some reason, I, I tend to, to lean a little bit more towards Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Andre, Andre Rozier uh, is a good friend of mine. Yeah, and, yeah Coach Dre, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, I'm That's always, how I got I'm havoc always, in the building. Right, right. I'm, all, I'm always pulling for him and, his, and any, anyone that, that, that he's working the corner. Uh, like I said, I still would like to see uh, Danny Jacobs win, win the fight. Yeah. Uh, but it just, it, it, I don't know, for some reason, it just, I feel like Canelo Alvarez is a little bit more spicy than uh, okay. be able to pull the fight over. It's going to definitely be an awesome fight. Uh, it's going to be a fight that's good for boxing. Uh, yeah. uh, and, you know, the whole world gets to see uh, who's going to be unified champion of yeah. 160 pounds. Uh, uh, as far as uh, Jared and, and our team, we're definitely going to be watching. Uh, yeah. Definitely a fight that, that could be in a, a potential fight in the future. And uh, yeah. I think Jared's uh, style could clash with any of those guys. Yeah, he's uh, a big guy, he's man. A big guy, strong Rose guy. Rolls punches very well. He throws a lot of punches. Uh, yeah. and he's very heavy-handed, what people yeah. don't realize. Yeah, he can crack. He got some heavy hands. Yeah, yeah they, he look, they, look, they look slow. Yeah. <laughs> they don't look pretty. But, yo, uh, yo, George Foreman shots used to look yeah, slow, too. They do a lot of, they yeah. do a lot of damage, That's man. right. So yeah. my, my hands can tell you that, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, he's definitely looking forward to, uh, to watching that fight, man. Definitely looking forward to coming back May 11th uh, against a tough, tough opponent, Joey yeah. Williams. Uh, we're looking to just go out there and put on another great performance for the for the fans. Uh, and uh, I'm just looking to just yeah. keep allow keep allowing God to use me, man, and help yeah, these, these young man. guys, you know, uh, get on the map and, and do that thing, man. And I guess you know by doing that, I'll be elevated just as well. Yeah. Once again, man, this is Jack of Fitness. With Coach Ernesto, man, Hillcrest is finest right here, man. This man, like you said, yeah. all the glory be to God. He's That's pumping right. them out, man. God is good all the time, all man. The time. Thank you, brother. I, I appreciate you. Yep. Yeah.